Scott, I need you to be the ant man. Now, I know when they're designing the Ant-Man suit, uh, the idea was that it was meant to look sort of like retro, like it was the yeah. top of the line in technology when it was built. But one of the things that struck me about the film was that that sort of carried through even in like the set design in like PIM technology and everything yeah. else. And I was curious what led you to that aesthetic overall, not just with the suit itself. Well, I think part of the Hank Pym story is that um, he's a little bit of a relic of the past. He created this revolutionary technology, but then decided that for the betterment of mankind, he needed to hide it away. The Ant-Man suit is just a beautifully designed suit, but it's got scrapes and scratches on it and dents, and it's it, it, it sort of um, it hints at this whole other life that it had in the past. And Pym Technologies, too, we shot at this... Um, the uh, Georgia Archives building mm -hmm. in Atlanta, which is this giant square monolith. It's this, it's this beautiful mid-century building built, I think, in the in the '60s, um, and it's got no windows on it. And you look at that building in real life, and you think, what's going on in that building? And so, touching on Hank's past and uh, Darren and all of that, what was it you think Hank saw in Darren, and then? to give him the opportunity to be his protege, and then what did he see to sort of yeah. cut him loose? Well, Hank and Darren have a very uneasy relationship. You know, it was sort of a mentor-pupil relationship. And I think initially, Hank saw the genius of Darren Cross, that he was this prodigy, this scientific prodigy. <clears throat> but there's a line in the movie where Cross asks him, what did you see in me? And he's like, I saw myself. And then why'd you push me away? And well, I saw too much of myself. And I think that taps into the idea that Hank Pym you know, he saw the potential of this technology, the PIM particles, but he also saw the sort of dark side of what it could do. Mm -hmm. But when he looked at Darren, he saw a guy who maybe was not all together uh, sane in the first place. You tried to hide your suit from me. Now, it's gonna blow up in your face and destroy everyone you care about. And on the flip side of that, I guess, what is it that Hank sees in Scott where he can trust that technology of Scott, whereas he couldn't trust it to Darren? I think Pym is wise enough to be able to see that Scott has a good heart. You know, Darren really wanted that technology. Scott, Scott doesn't want it. Mm -hmm. It's sort of foisted on Scott. Scott wants to become a part of his daughter's life. That's his goal in the movie. Um, <clears throat> and it's really the reason that he agrees to, to help Hank in the first place. So I think that Hank saw just sort of this, um, this purity of heart that, that Scott Lang has. Like, and he's made terrible mistakes in his life, but he knows that, that Scott is capable of more and kind of wants to, to give him a, a higher calling in his life. 